Hey there, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to be just joshing around, unboxing and talking about this Tack Life Jigsaw. I have a couple of projects coming up that are going to require the use of a good, reliable jigsaw. I've had three different ones so far, all of which have either been hand-me-downs or yard sale finds, and each one so far has had its share of problems. So after a little bit of research, I decided to purchase this jigsaw. This is the second TacLife power tool that I've bought, the first being the Orbital Sander, which I absolutely love, and which also informed my decision to purchase this one. For being more of a budget-friendly jigsaw, this thing feels like premium quality, and it has a lot of features. In addition to a nice hard plastic carry case, it also comes with a dust collection adapter, a rip guide, and also six blades. And it's got a nice long power cord to help increase the range of workability. One really nice feature is the combination LED light and laser guide. These are powered on by a dual-purpose button, and consist of three different lighting configurations. There's light and laser, light only, and laser only. On the bottom of the saw is the metal base plate, which is covered by a removable soft plastic protective shoe. On the bottom rear of the saw is the dust collection port, into which the shop back hose is inserted. If the dust collection isn't desired, there's a little selector switch which redirects the airflow to blow the sawdust away. The large power switch is positioned right above to turn the saw on and off. And on the top rear of the saw is a variable speed selector wheel which allows you to change the speed of the stroke. This is a big departure from other conventional jigsaws that I've used because with those you have a pressure sensitive trigger. But I believe this is largely due to the completely different overall design of this saw versus others. This jigsaw has a barrel grip design which gives it a lower center of gravity, allowing your hand to be closer to the material you're cutting, which in essence gives you much better control over the saw for better accuracy. I'm sure this will present some inherent safety risks which wouldn't be present with the other more conventional jigsaws, so I'm just going to have to be extra careful. To insert or change a blade, the clear plastic blade guard must be removed. There's a quick connect chuck that holds the blade, which means that no tools are necessary to change it out which also means that it's really convenient. On the side of the saw is a stroke angle adjustment switch. This adjusts the tension in the guide wheel pendulum to allow the blade to have a larger amount of travel or curvier cuts. On the other side of the saw is a tension lever, which when released, allows the base plate angle to be adjusted. It even has a half pipe assembly, which is notched out with little teeth that allows the base plate to be set to specific angles. And there's even angle indicators stamped into the side, which tell you where your angle is set. These markings are on both sides, which makes it even more convenient. I set up some scrap plywood to test out the saw, first without dust collection, and then again with it attached. The dust collection is definitely effective, but at some point I'm going to have to do some tests to see just how effective it is. One thing that I noticed is that the blade guard gets in the way of being able to fully adjust the base plate angle. So if I'll be doing any angled cuts, I'll just have to remove it. So far, I was very happy with the cut results that I was seeing with this saw. Next, I wanted to test out the rip guide. There are two small knobs on the base plate which hold the rip guide into place. You just set the guide to your desired width and then tighten down the knobs. I set up a scrap piece of OSB to test it out. This is where things got a little bit ugly. While cutting through, a little chunk of the OSB got lodged into the dust collection nozzle. This in turn pushed the blade out of the guide wheel and caused the entire thing to drift to the side. I believe this is also due to the fact that the blades that were included with this set aren't really the best quality. That blade ended up getting a pretty severe bend in it, so I switched it out with a good one and tried it again. This cut was going much better than before, but I noticed that the rip guide was actually getting caught on the side of the board and causing the blade to pinch. So I decided to yank it out and cast it aside. Using just the laser guide and light was much more effective. Though I also noticed one more thing. Using a scrap piece of OSB to demonstrate this saw's capability probably wasn't the best idea. So I switched to a scrap piece of plywood and tried it one more time. This time I was actually very pleased with how straight of a cut I was able to achieve. All in all, I'm very happy with the purchase of this saw up to this point. It feels quite sturdy and well built, and it's packed with features. Aside from some issues with the rip guide and the cheap blades that were included, I'm really liking everything about this jigsaw. 
To be fair, my opinion will most likely change over time with more use. But for now, I really can't complain. And heck, it certainly is the nicest jigsaw that I've ever owned. I've been slowly upgrading my arsenal of tools, and I thought it'd be fun to do a short little video talking about the details and features of this jigsaw. So I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like below and leave a comment telling me what you think. And while you're at it, please consider subscribing as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.